Okay, so why do I do a welcome letter? I think that that's probably the most important thing about um, the welcome letter. I send a welcome letter out usually the Friday before the class starts. And I teach accounting, so as you can imagine, students are kind of petrified as soon as they have to enroll in an accounting class. Um, accounting 116A is my favorite class to teach, and it's also the scariest class because it is the first um, accounting course that students take as business majors. 99% um, of my students in, enrolling in this class are not accounting majors. So I want to start off letting them know that I am a person, that I'm on their side, that I'm here to help them succeed, and that I want them to engage with me and that it's not just coming into a class that's already pre-made and nobody's there kind of guiding them along. So I start out with a welcome letter and I send an email first and I attach the welcome letter along with a syllabus. And so in the body of the email, I kind of write a little blurb, but this is mostly what's um, in the welcome letter and I, I can read it if you guys want me to. But basically it says, hello students, welcome to financial accounting. I'm Professor Lauren Wade, your financial accounting instructor. I'm reaching out to welcome you to financial accounting. And then I tell them the section number and you know what semester it is. I immediately put a picture of myself just to kind of show me I'm humanizing the course immediately. I create this in Word just because I'm most familiar with it. I'm sure there's a better program for it. Um, but that's the one I know best. And then I go into just a few items that they should know before they get started in the class. So the first thing that I put in here are the course dates. And basically this is when we start the course, this is when we end the course, and then when Canvas is actually opened. I learned that the hard way the first semester that I didn't include it because I didn't realize or I forgot to tell them that they wouldn't be able to enter Canvas until the first day and I got like 50 emails because I sent this out to five different classes. So I include the day that Canvas is open for my course so that they know when they can actually start working in the class. And then I go through activities that they need to participate in during that first week so that they know the expectations that I have for them during that first week. This is an accelerated class, so the first week is the introduction module, which is module zero, plus they have to go through a number of um, different assignments. So completing the introduction module, meet and greet. I'm just going to check the chat really fast. Sorry. Sorry, it's me just posting stuff in there. Okay meet and greet and then going and registering in my accounting lab and then a couple other things i set i put in there the due dates for each of these so obviously each semester for each class i have to update these items but once you have a template for a welcome letter it's pretty easy to kind of just move it forward and then adjust it based on what happens the previous semester so you kind of just tailor it for your specific classes based on what your needs are. Um, I also put in here that if they're not going to be able to start in Canvas before a certain date to please email me because I need to know what the circumstances are for them. I send this out the Friday before and if I have any students that are crashing, then I send this out with the syllabus to them too. So I want everybody to kind of be on the same page when they start my class. I use both Canvas and My Accounting Lab. My Accounting Lab comes with a textbook and they do a lot of their assignments in My Accounting Lab. So I include information for how to log into Canvas as well as how to log into My Accounting Lab and the process of My Accounting Lab. Um, I still get questions about my accounting lab. I need to tweak this going forward again. I think Julie's laughing because she probably gets the same thing that happens um, because the information that's given to them with the textbook, if they purchase the textbook at the bookstore or on Amazon is not the correct login information when we're paired with Canvas. So 
that's the part where I really kind of need to work on every semester till I get it perfect. And then at the very bottom, right before I say welcome to financial accounting, I think this is probably the most important part of it. Just so you know, I'm excited about this class. It's going to be a wonderful eight weeks and I look forward to meeting and working with you. I encourage you to reach out if you have any questions or need something I didn't cover here. And then I give them my email address that I prefer. At the very bottom, I just say, I look forward to working with you. I sign my name and then I have a quote here. Real education should consist of drawing the goodness and the best out of our own students by Cesar Chavez. I just wanted to kind of personalize the class and kind of show them that I am on their side and that they're here and I'm here because of them and that I want them to learn accounting and I'm welcoming them, welcome, welcoming them to the class. Sorry, sometimes my words get away from me. Um, I think the welcome letter really humanizes you. Students immediately will send out emails to you just saying, hey, thanks for saying hi. I'm excited about the class. They'll start asking questions. Um, I think a benefit for sending the welcome letter, and I can't just say it's the welcome letter alone, but I had 100% participation in both of my discussion boards last week. 100% participation. That's huge. And Katie, look at Katie. She's like, yes. Yeah. And in my intro discussion board, 99.5% of them did both all the required parts. Only one student did not. And Another benefit is that I've only had one student drop, and that was because of extenuating circumstances related to his work. I think that sending a welcome letter has a huge benefit to keeping your students engaged in your class and knowing that you're with them in this journey of learning. So, any questions? <laughs>